This is Cheryl Geisler for Coding Streams of Language. Today we're looking at Max QDA Procedure 6.4, Collapsing Across Cases in Max QDA. Here we'll be working in Max QDA to collapse across cases according to a built-in contrast. To collapse across data streams, we create a document variable and use it to classify each of our documents according to our built-in contrast. I begin by selecting List of Document Variables from the Variables menu. In the pop-up Document Variables window, I click on the New Variable icon and I type in a name for my contrasting variable. I click OK and I close the window. Next, from the Variables menu, I select the Data Editor command. In the Documents window, I click in the first row under the new variable and type in the name for one side of my contrast. In the next row, I classify the next document, either by typing in the name or selecting from the drop-down menu. I repeat this step to complete the classification for all my documents. Now from my Mixed Methods menu, I select the Crosstab command. In the crosstab window, I select my variable of contrast and click on the right arrow to move it into the second column. In the third column, I make sure that the equals option is selected and I use the drop down menu to choose the first value for my built in contrast. I then repeat this process for the remaining value of my built in contrast. Now I make sure to deselect the options for only activated documents and only activated codes, and then I click OK. A frequency table across my contrast now appears in the crosstab window. To learn more, visit the WAC Clearing House at the link on your screen to download Coding Streams of Language for free.